Listen, I don't know if you notice, know but 17 comes after 16, which means iOS 17 is on the way and it's going to be huge, but not for the reason you think. We have a report from everyone's favorite Apple guy that does stuff, Marcus Gramantis. Everybody? Thank you. German reports that iOS 17 will have less features due to a bigger shift in focus to preparing everything for the eventual release of Apple's Reality Pro headset. This is not the first time we're hearing that, but this does make it more concrete. Now, I know hearing that iOS 17 isn't going to have a bunch of new features isn't exactly your favorite thing that you've heard today, but hang on, because me, I, Jern, will tell you why this is actually... A good thing. Everyone who talks about iOS updates and releases, they're always real quick to say updates like iOS 17 that are just going to be maintenance updates are boring. But dude, the boring updates to iOS are always the best updates. iOS 17 is going to be focusing on stability issues, performance, and come with minor updates to basic stuff. And that is what we need. I made a video about this. If you missed it, Apple sucks now and it's your fault. It's about exactly this. It's about how I personally have had terrible experiences across the board with pretty much every new Apple device, but not because of hardware, specifically because of software. And for a company that has literally called themselves a software company, Bullshit. iOS 16 came out with some of the biggest changes iPhone has ever seen in terms of software. Lock screen customization, always on display, support for Dynamic Island, huge stuff, great stuff. Great stuff that also has a lot of complaints. Bad battery life, because always on display is, well, always on. Glitchy Dynamic Island behavior, lock screen stuff, bugging out. It's a long list. I don't need iOS to have crazy new updates until I feel that it is crazy reliable. It is my phone. It needs to work. After you get it to work all the time, reliably, and I can trust it, then let's try some new stuff. Updates like the upcoming iOS 17, assuming the rumors are true, are the unsung heroes because these are the updates where Apple takes these new, fun, yet buggy features and make them actually good and stops them from ruining your experience on your stupid little iPhone. I'm sorry, okay? Obviously, I'm very passionate when it comes to software. Software to me is in will always be infinitely more important than any hardware ever, always, forever, all right? And I don't need you to come up with new ideas for the soft Apple, you know what, here's the new idea. Make it work. In my opinion, these quote, maintenance and boring updates are the real Apple updates that carry the company's devotion to an airtight software experience forward. Not beta features being rushed out because they gotta get released because new stuff is cool or whatever. This iOS, iOS 17, will also be the first release that takes advantage of Apple's changes to the beta program that we talked about in the last episode. So sorry, people who don't want to pay a hundred bucks for access to a buggy beta. You ain't getting that anymore, so go be poor somewhere else, Mr. Poor McPoor. Yeah, so anyways, that is my rant about iOS. I do love iPhone. I love iOS. Uh, the update fragmentation and weird over-the-air update pushes, uh, that's what drew me away from Android back in the day in the first place. iOS was supposed to be the it-just-works platform, but for some reason, we got away from that. And I don't like it. iOS is supposed to feel like a like a nice warm blanket around me. Not a bunch of weird patched together chunks of blanket that I gotta hold together myself. That's not a blanket. That's a... That's a not blanket. <laughs> okay, real talk. Jern to the audience. I'm a man of two things. Delicious food and being lazy. That's why today's episode is sponsored by our friends at HelloFresh. Everybody knows HelloFresh by now because they're the best. But if you don't, HelloFresh is the best meal prep service that brings farm fresh ingredients to your door and makes it possible to make restaurant quality meals at home. I'm telling you, this is not for the ad. I am actually a subscriber to HelloFresh. I've been getting them for I don't know, maybe a year and a half now, a box every single week. I love HelloFresh, and because of them, I learned that I can actually cook more than bowls of cereal and Hot Pockets. And I don't gotta make all those trips to the grocery store. HelloFresh gives me all of those high-quality ingredients 
pre-portioned. It comes to my door and easy to learn recipes. So the pajamas stay on and I get to cook myself restaurant quality meals. It doesn't get better than that. You'll never get recipe fatigue either because HelloFresh is growing their menu all the time. With 40 weekly recipes, they make it easy to try new things and bring fun flavor experiences to you and your family every week. They got some heavy hitter recipes too. Like my personal favorite, sweet chili pork bowls. Dear God, trust me, you need to eat that. Even if it's only for that, sign up for HelloFresh right now and get that. Trust me. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code FRONTPAGETECH65 at checkout for 65% off plus free shipping. That's a crazy deal. I mean, I know I already signed up. I've been using you, HelloFresh, but can I, can I get this? Can I get 65%? Anyway, thanks for sponsoring today's episode. All right, so uh, iPhone 15 stuff. Yay. How fun. No, I'm not sick of it. I'm not sick of talking about iPhone 15. Me? Sick of it? No. In a report from the Taiwanese research team, Trend Force. That sounds so super. Like, I, I gotta say, like, Trend Force! Anyway, according to them, iPhone 15 lineup is finally gonna get some much needed RAM improvements. Holy shillelagh! We're getting better stuff on the new iPhone, finally. He wrote holy shillelagh in the script, but then next to it he he wrote out, spelled out the pronunciation of shillelagh so that I would know how to say it, because he assumed that I'd, I can't read shillelagh. I'm sorry, do I not sound excited enough for you? Can I do it again? Oh my god! Oh my god, new iPhone stuff up! Oh! Oh! Okay, was that good? Anyway, I don't know if you know this. Fun fact, the iPhone 12 Pro was the last time we had RAM improvements. And I don't know if you're keeping track at home, but I think it's really time to pick things back up here, Apple. Trendforce is reporting that we can, I'm sorry, Trendforce is reporting that we can expect the base iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus models to get the six gigabytes of RAM previously featured on the 14 Pro. And, uh, Guess what that means? The iPhone 15 Pro will be getting bumped up to eight gigabytes. That is like first grade amount of gigabytes. Do, it, do eight year olds go to first grade? I don't know. This bump in RAM for iPhone 15 Pro paired with the upcoming A17 Bionic chip will give a nice hefty boost to performance and everything from app management, background app, you know how RAM works. Do I, do I need to tell you? If you know, you know. So far, the iPhone 15 lineup is looking pretty chunky, huh? RAM updates, camera bumps, big, big camera bumps. I'm moderately excited, mostly because USB-C and the roundy corners. My God, they look so nice. I just want to touch them. Sorry, sorry that what this phone is, what, seven months away from being official and I already hate it. Not because it's a bad phone, it's probably gonna be a great phone, but I hate talking about it every day! It's the worst! <sighs> anyway, see you tomorrow when, uh, when I talk about it again. Some more. Also. It just makes me, it makes me wanna... What's the number for that hotline again? <laughs>